welcome back to Waverly Reads and welcome back finally to a regular monthly haul. I did a haul here either the end of January or beginning of February and I decided that I'm going to go back to monthly hauls because let's be real I buy a lot of books and if I don't do monthly they stock up and I end up talking about 40-50 books at a time and it's just not a good time. So today I bring you technically 12 different books however um, I'm gonna say it's 10, maybe even 9, but yeah, this part, you'll understand when I get to it, but this is the pile that I'm going to be hauling, and I'll tell you as much as I can about most of them, um, and yeah, let's get into the haul. I decided to film down here, by the way, because it is very, very, very warm I'm upstairs, and it's warm down here, but it's a lot cooler, um, so yeah, I decided, to, I tried to make my background a little bit bookish, I know it says music for reading, but let's just ignore that, I wanted a bookish background. I put on a YouTube video, because I don't want a fireplace, because... I've got a fireplace for you. There's the doorbell. So it has arrived. So coming in front of people. Hey. Again. I'm going to be going through the books that I bought in the past month. I'm trying to limit myself and it's not really working. Also, these are in no order, so we're just gonna get into it and now ignore any background noises, obviously, because I'm not home alone anymore. The first book is Wild by April and Pike. This is the third book in the Wings series. This is the third book, so I can't tell you too much about what this one is about, but it is also for my spring reading with the seasons TV. Is that a flower on the cover. The first book in the Wings series about is about a girl named Laurel who wakes up one day with a flower sprouting out of her back and she is told that she basically is trying to hide it and like because this is freak flower growing out of her back it makes sense um and she tells her friend david and they start doing all these experiments and she finds out that it's actually a part of her then she meets this boy named tamanai who is a spring fairy and he tells her that she is a full fairy and yeah it's just basically about fairies and trying to protect the land of the day. I'm not doing that any justice but I'm nervous now because people are in the room and I don't do this very often. Next book is Half Bad by Sally Green. I don't know too much about what this book is about, I just know that it's been on my TBR for literally forever and it's one of them books where I tell people I haven't read it yet and they're like why? Like how have you not read it because apparently it's very up my street. Looking at the cover I can probably agree that even the cover is very up my street but for the synopsis, I literally know nothing and it doesn't have one, which is always great. I thought it'd be there because that's where it usually is if it's not on the back, but it is not. So I found this in a charity shop for like a pound, so I decided to pick it up because everyone and their mother has told me to read this book and I still haven't got around to it. Next book is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Camara. This spine is what drew me in. I mean, just look at it. It's stunning and also the cover is very, very beautiful. Um, I can't tell you too much about what this one is about either because I've only read the synopsis and synopsis don't really give much to the story but I was drawn in by the synopsis and I haven't really heard anyone talk about this so I'm just going to read this to you. It's very in the year to M4 is cursed, forced to repeat the autumn of his 18th year over and over again. He can only be freed if a girl truly falls for him and after so many failures his kingdom and its people are barely holding on. Harper's life has never been easy but she's learned to be tough enough to survive the streets of Washington DC. When she is snooked into Ren's world, uh, nothing is as it seems. Powerful forces are standing against Ember Fall and it will take more than a broken curse to save it from utter ruin. Beating the Beast retelling basically, which is the other reason why I picked this up if that isn't obvious enough already. Next book is Nowhere on Earth by Nick Lake. And this is about two children, I believe, who survive a plane crash and land on this abandoned island. But apparently they are not alone and they are being chased by something and I don't know just again the synopsis is very very bland and vague. It started with a plane crash. There are survivors, a teenage girl and her little brother. They are running from something but what? Then the men arrive. They are hunting the girl and the boy and that's all we can tell you. It's so mean and so <laughs> gripping. <laughs> Next up is Secrets for the Mad by Dodie Clark. I obviously picked this up having already read this and I'm also meeting Dodie if you didn't know next month I'm going to a concert with Shakira and I bought this in hopes that I can go and get it signed by her if we wait stage door. I have already read this and I don't even know when but it's in one of my wrap ups somewhere somewhere how. The next book I have is In the Afterlight by Alexandra Bracken. This is the third book in the Darkest Minds trilogy. Trilogy, it's a series. I'm actually really sad about this because this isn't the cover I ordered or wanted. I have different covers. I'm not happy about this cover but it just seems like I'm not going to be able to get hold of the old covers so I'm just going to have to buy them in these editions which is really sad. Again, third book in a series, can't really tell you what it's about and I'm not going to go on and on about The Darkest Minds again because 
I do that to you guys enough because a book that I really really love we're just going to pretend that you already know because I hope you would if you watch my videos by now. Next book is The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. Acevedo. Um, this is a book set in poetry form and I literally flew through this on two tram rides. Two tram rides and I finished the book. It was insane. I must have read like 150 pages each tram journey. It was absolutely insane. Such a good book and the reason I picked this up is because I saw, I already had this book at the time, but the reason I, I have read it by the way, in case you didn't realise, and the reason I decided to pick it up and read it that day is because I saw a tweet that morning that was like, read Power X, it will change your life over and over and over again. So I read it and yeah, it does, it's very life affecting and definitely worth the read. What I really say about it is it's about a girl named Zamara who is in this very Christian family and she's judged for pretty much every little thing she does. She's just trying to <clears throat> get along with life but being judged by her parents and yeah, it's a really good book. Go read it. It's fabulous but you're more about that in my wrap up anyway. Next up is a book that I'm currently reading and that is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. I'm meeting Angie in about five, no, I think it's about eight days now, about a week anyway. Um, I'm going to meet, be meeting her and I'm very very excited so I decided I wanted to pick this up and read it before I got around to meeting her so when I go to get it signed I can try and discuss it with her I guess. The book is about a girl named Brie who lives in the a neighbourhood similar to The Hate You Give or it's like a related neighbourhood to where Star lives um, but she lives in like the suburbs, she lives in the bad reputation neighbourhood and she has to live up to being a thug basically and she's really into rap battles and stuff like that and she's really into writing her own poetry so she enters the ring and gets this name for herself it's not what she's trying to get out there that she receives so she's basically being received bad rep for saying things that she does in her raps she's also receiving discrimination against her race by the bodyguards at her school as well so it's about all standing up for that and I'm really enjoying it so far I only have like this much left so again you'll find out about this in my February wrap up I'm going to slump down now because my ankles are hurting me I only have technically four technically one book to talk about and that is The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. Then I'm not going to go through what this is about, you hear me talk about this way too often as is. finally picked up the black edition of The Hunger Games and completed my black collection and I also picked up and I'm very excited about this, the special white editions of these books. They are stunning, I'm going to get them out because I feel like I have to share this. Just look at how pretty these books are. They are absolutely stunning. Fun story about these actually, I saw these on a booktube video about five years ago and I said I wanted them and I was trying to find them everywhere and couldn't and then Lisa sent me a link um, a few weeks later and she was like look what I found. Never in stock which was very very annoying and basically had me distraught the entire time um, but recently I looked and they came back in stock but they were like £40 and I was like okay I can't bring myself to do that and didn't um, and then I checked a few weeks ago and it was like hey these are on sale for £15, £5 per book and I was like I'm getting them so I now also have the white editions I think I'm just basically going to get every edition I can in the Hunger Games because by far one of my favourite series so those are all of the books that I acquired in the month of February the month I've acquired all of these books I'm pretty sure I brought them all which is kind of sad kind of yeah you know, I don't care it's my hobby and I love it shut up so now we need to acquire another bookcase pretty much I still have one shelf empty one shelf left on my bookcase and then I'm going to need another one please and thank you that's no more books for you then yeah that's not happening if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i post a new booktube video like this every single thursday on this channel and i also have a vlogging channel in the description back down below which i post a weekly reading vlog on every single monday thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next week for another video bye oh, with even more books with even more books <laughs>